Ay, I know you grind and I know you time you young flipper But just think bigger though, think bigger now, think bigger Look, I know it's in you, take some time to get the picture But just think bigger for me, think bigger now, think bigger Look, I know you riding, I know you dying, you my nigga but just think bigger though, think bigger now, think bigger uh, Man, you a god on this earth, don't let them tell you different Think bigger, think bigger, think bigger God from the West, what? First and foremost, man, I want to give all honor and all glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. Right? Hey, that's to say all praise to the Heavenly Father whom the world calls God, and the name of His only begotten Son, whom the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, man. We the Hebrew Israelites, man. We come out of Little Rock, Arkansas. We come all the way to Memphis, Tennessee to represent with our family, man, and congregate like the Lord told us. Give me Zephaniah 2 and 1 real quick, man. Right? We doing what the Lord said in these last days, man. Right? Give me the book of Psalms, chapter 133 and verse 1, man. Right? Read that, Zephaniah. Right? It's the, book of, it's the book of Psalms, chapter 133 and verse 1. And it reads, Behold, how good and how pleasant is it for brethren to dwell together in unity. So the Lord said this beautiful thing, man. It's beautiful in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua to dwell together with brethren, man. Not just those that are coming out here signing and crying for the downfall of this wicked place, our people being in bondage, but those brothers and sisters that come and get edified by the word, man. Right? And it's also a commandment from the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, to gather with your people on the Sabbath day, man. Read that. Zephaniah chapter 2 verse 1 Bring it out. Gather yourselves together What the Lord say? Gather yourselves yeah. together Yea, yeah. gather together O nation not desire Hey, the Lord said gather together the nation that's not desire, man We understand that the black Hispanic and the Native Americans are a nation that's not desire among these other nations on the earth, man right. We understand that we are the downfall Right? We on the end of everything, man right. We on the bottom of the totem pole, man We at the borders locked up we in the jails locked up, man. We in the graves, man, right? We outside of the homes, man. We in the ghettos, we in the slums, man. We are the nation that's not designed. But the Lord told you today, hey, guess what? This place right here that you see, all this folly that's going up and down, so-called Bill Street, man, AKA Babylon the Great. Hey, man, this is not your home, man. This is not your rest. Give me Micah 2 and 10 real quick, man, right? Read that. It's the book of Micah chapter two and verse 10. Arise ye and depart. For this is not your rest. For this is not your rest. Because it is polluted. Uh -huh. It shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. The Lord said, people of America, man, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that are in captivity, man. He said, look, arise and depart from this place, because this is not your rest. Hey, brother in the blue right here with the blue hat. You got a couple minutes to hear the words of the Lord, man, right? You are Israelite, repent, keep the commandments, man, right? Read that one more time. Micah chapter 2 and verse 10. Arise ye and depart. Arise ye and depart. The Lord said arise and depart. What is he telling you to do to arise? To get out of the ways of America, man. Come out of the ways of this folly land, man. All the madness and the, the, the lust thereof and everything that has to do with America, a.k.a. Babylon the Great, is wicked as hell, man. Everything that you deal with in this land is foolishness, man. Just like you see on that damn sign, shrimp. Hey, gumbo, shrimp, catfish, or pork ribs, all that stuff is abominable to the Lord. This is the Sabbath day. You're not supposed to be buying nor selling. You're supposed to be resting, praising the Lord, getting in your Bible, congregating with your people. But yet, folly is set in great dignity, man. The Lord said, arise, this is not your rest. Why? For this is not your rest uh -huh. because it is polluted. It's what? It is polluted. This place is polluted, man. You see broken down streets, man, full of rubbish, full of trash. Heathens that have stole this land, man, from your ancestors walking up and down freely and proud, smiling in your face, telling you that, hey, guess what? They better than you, man. That you're nothing. That you're three fifths of a man. Hey, brother, pull your pants up. You're a king walking the earth, king. Right? Read that. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sword destruction. Right? Give me First John 2 and 15. Right? Hey, man, it's going to destroy you, man, with a sword destruction, man. Hold that. Right? So the Lord said, look, this place is polluted, man, and everything, and all the inhabitants thereof are polluted and contrary to your salvation, man. And why is that, man? Read that. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 2, and verse 15. Uh -huh. Love not the world. What the Lord said, love not the world, uh -huh. neither the things that are in the world. Uh -huh. If any man love the world, uh -huh. 
the love of the Father is not in him. So the Lord told you, man, if you love this world, it's impossible for you to love the Most High God because everything is contrary to the Most High God in this world. You hear the words of the Lord, sister? You got a couple minutes, man? Give me, uh, hold that, give me James 4 and 4, right? Right, read that one more time. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So it's impossible to please the Most High, man. Because everything that has to do with this world, the Lord ain't dealing with that, man. The Lord actually called you his enemy if you love this present and evil world, man. Read that. This is the book of James, chapter 4, verse 4. It reads, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, uh -huh. know ye not that the friendship of the world, of what? the friendship of the world, is, what? is enmity with God. Right. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is, what? is the enemy of God. So if you're a friend of this world, man, you would be an enemy of the Most High God. If you were out here buying and selling and freaking off on a Sabbath day, man, which is from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown, you would be an enemy of God, man. Right. If you're not keeping the commandments of the Most High, you would be an enemy of the Most High God, man, right. because you're indulging in the lust and everything that got going on with this world. Finish that. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not the, of the Father, but is of the world. Hey, ain't none of this you see around here of the Heavenly Father, man. All this hanging out, all that folly, man. Give me Ecclesiastes 10 and 6. All this mess you got going on right now, all the fun and the hip hop music and the flipping and the sucking and jiving and the buying and selling and getting drunk, all this stuff is the lust of the world, man. It's not of the Father, man. But it's this. Read that. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 10 and verse 6. Bring it out. Folly is set in great dignity. Folly is set in great dignity. And the rich sit in low place. The Lord said folly is set in great dignity. Folly is foolishness, man. And it's hey, uplifted above the words of the Most High, man, in these last days, man. Folly is lifted up, man. And the rich, they sit in low places. Who is the rich? These black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Those that are on the ground. Those that are beat down, trotted. Those that are disemarginalized, man, disenfranchised. Those that are locked up in the prison, dead in the graves, man. Those that are walking, literally dry bones in the Lord, uh, uh, in America the Great, man. Right, finish that. Verse seven, I have seen, I have seen servants upon horses. I've seen what? I have seen servants upon horses and princes walking as servants upon the earth. Hey, the Lord said he sees servants upon horses, man. These are servants of the Lord and they're upon, hey man, they upon horses, man. That black man right there, that black man right there. Those black men up and down the street, they are servants, man. Hey, man, of the Lord. But guess what? You are supposed to be the one that's set on high and sitting on horses. But right now, man, hey, your enemy is above you, man. Your enemy is on top of you. He got his neck on you for nine minutes, man, choking the life out of you, man. The Lord said, look, your enemy is going to pursue you until you're put to death, man, if you do not return and keep the commandments of the Most High God, man. The Lord is going to destroy you in these last days. You are literally the valley of dry bones. You are the walking dead that the Lord speaks about, man. Read that. It's the book of Ezekiel, chapter 37, from the top. And the hands of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, which was full of bones. And when you look up and down the street of Bill in Tennessee, man, you see what? A valley of dry bones, man. People that are walking and don't understand that they are dead, man. That they are full of dead man's bones, man. They don't understand what life means, man. They think this is life, right. hanging out in Memphis, Tennessee, man, flipping in the streets, having a cocktail at midday, man, right, smoking cigarettes, kicking it with the enemy, man. They feel like this is life, but it ain't read that. It caused me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry, they were very dry, and he said unto me, son of man, can these bones live, can these bones live, and I answered, Oh, Lord God, thou knowest. So Ezekiel was asking the Lord, hey, man, can these dry bones live? And hey, the Lord said, I, hey, Ezekiel said, hey, man, only you know, Lord, right? But guess what? The men of the Lord are sent out today to prophesy and bring back that living water and that food to give nourishment to these dry bones that's walking up and down the Memphis. Read. Verse 1, again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath 
to enter into you. And what is the Lord doing? He's causing breath to enter into the people of God, man. And what is that breath? Give me that in Wisdom of Solomon, man, seven, right? We're going to show you what that breath is that he's given to his people in these last days, right? Check this out, man. Read that. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven. It's lucky. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter seven, and verse 28, right? Oh. And it reads, I'm going to start at verse 25. All right. Verse 24, rather. For wisdom is more moving than any emotion. Uh -huh. She passes and going through all things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the power of God. She is what? She is the breath of the power of God. So the breath and the power of God is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that the Bible speaks of. The commandments of God that he gave you in these last days, man, that you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans should be keeping, man, that you should be taking here to, man, that you so-called supposed to be believing in. You say you believe in God, but what does that mean to believe in God? Give me that, that's all right. 32. Right, what does it mean to believe in God, man? Right? Let's get that real quick. What? No, hold on. This is because I read, chapter 24, and verse 32, right? It reads, I will yet make doctrine to shine as the morning. Is that what you want? 24, 32? It's, uh, so lucky. So, uh, he that believe on me, uh, take heed to the commandments, right? Take heed to the commandments, right? Uh, go ahead, read that. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, and verse 20. Right. Wisdom cried without. Uh -huh. She uttered her voice in the streets. She, what? she uttered her voice in the streets. Right. She cried in the chief place of concourse. She, she, she cried in the chief place of concourse. This is the chief place of concourse, man, where everybody's going to and fro, man. Right. The Lord said, Wisdom crieth in the streets, man. Read. In the opening of the gate, uh -huh. in the city, she uttered her word, saying, How long, ye simple ones? Uh, How long, ye simple ones? Uh -huh. Will ye love simplicity? The Lord is asking a very vivid question. How long, you simple-minded Israelites, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, how long are you going to love simplicity, man? Right, right? read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. Uh -huh. And fools hate knowledge. And, and, and fools, fools hate knowledge. knowledge. Hey, man, the Lord said, look, you will be a fool if you hate knowledge, man. Right. You say you believe on God, right? You say you love God, but what does it mean to believe on it, man? Give me that first John 5 and 3. Read that. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 23. That's lucky. That's lucky. Sirach, chapter 32 and verse 24. He that believeth in the Lord, taking heed to the commandment. Do what? Taking heed to the commandment. So if you believe in the Most High God, you take heed to his commandments, man. Right. Right? But the church will tell you that the commandments are done away with, man. Right. Who should we listen to, man? Or the Most High God, man? Right. You gotta ask yourself, how have you been deceived? Right. What is going on? Right. right? You say you love God. You say you know God. Right. But what does it mean to love God, right. man? Right? What does it mean to love God, man? Right? We got any takers? Do you know what it means to love God, brother? One of y'all brothers know what it means to love God? Y'all know what it means to love God? See that? Hey, read. For, this is the book of 1 John, chapter 5, and verse 3. For this is the love of God. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grieving. So that's how you love God, man. If you're going to keep his commandments, man. And the problem is, our people don't know the commandments of God, man. Right? Because we think that we don't have to do that anymore. We say that Christ died for it to be put away, man. The Lord said that's not true. He did not come to do away with the law, man. He actually came to magnify that thing, man. And guess what? People also say, well, guess what? If you keep the law, you're cursed. You'll curse people if you keep the law. Well, guess what? We're going to see who's cursed. Give me the book of John chapter 7 and verse 49. We'll see who's the cursed people, man. Right? Read that. This book of John chapter 7 and verse 49. It reads, but this people, the what? But this people uh -huh. who knoweth not the law uh -huh. are cursed. Uh, what? Are cursed. If you don't know the laws of God, you would be cursed. Right. It's simple as that, man. If you don't follow the ways of the Most High God, you will be cursed, man. And that's the reason why our people are so low in the streets. 
That's why we die in great number, man. That's why we are a hey, infested with diseases. That's why we baby mamas. That's why we a hey, kicking the father out of the household. That's why we get killed in the streets by the police, by our own, because we under the curses, because we don't keep the laws of the Most High God, man. Right? That's the reason why you are turmoil. That you hate yourself, man. Give me that Deuteronomy 28, 15, man. We gonna show you that. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. And it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God uh -huh. to observe to all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day right. that all these curses, all these, all these curses uh -huh. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if you don't hearken to the voice of the Lord and keep his commandments, then all these curses are going to come upon you and overtake you. Right. Let's see what some of these curses are talking about. Verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. What the Lord say? Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Uh-huh. And cursed shalt thou be in the field. Hey, my brother, who's the people that are cursed in the cities, man? Right? Who are the people that are in these cities, in the ghettos, man? Right. In the slums, man? Right. Just marginalized, disenfranchised, hated, right? On section eight, on food steps, right? right? Hating their brother. Right. The people of the Bible, the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, those are the ones that's cursed in the cities. And he said, you're cursed in the field. Who was the ones picking cotton in the fields, man? Who's cursed now in the work field? Well, you gotta work for your enemy, man. You gotta get up four, five in the morning, man, to go slay for somebody to be over you and tell you what to do instead of owning your own land, man. Instead of keeping your own resources, man. Give me an invitation five, man, right? Stay through the one, right? Let's get another piece to bring out anyone. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 25. Yeah. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Uh -huh. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them. Hey. And who's the ones that be in the streets, chilling on the corners, man, hanging out with their homies, and then they say that blue siren come around the corner, and then whoa, whoa, and everybody running and fleeing seven ways. Hey. Who doing that? Not the white man, hey. not the Chinese man. Hey. Not the Arab man, right. not the East Indian man. Right. No, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans are those, man. Right. You are the one that's fleeing different ways. You are the one that's been smitten in the streets, man. Right. right? Walking down the streets talking about hands up, don't shoot. Yeah. We're equal. You the ones marching with picket fences, uh, picket signs and picket fences, man, talking about no justice, no peace, man. Right. You are the ones doing that, man. Give me another one. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28, verse 43. Right. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, right. and thou shalt come down very low. The stranger that is within thee is going to get up above thee very high. What is the Lord talking about? Just look around you. Does any black, Hispanic, and Native American own any of these businesses, man? Right. right? Any of these businesses. Do you know a black homeowner? Do you know a black business owner? Right? And if they do, where they got to pay taxes at? Where they get the material from? The stranger above you is going to get above you very high. How y'all sisters doing? Y'all got a couple minutes to hear the words of the Lord? Right? Y'all, hey, if y'all black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, y'all the Israelites that the Bible speaks of, God's chosen people. We got to keep the commandments in these last days, repent, and return to our God, man, in these last days, man. And they'll be sucking and jiving, right, for these folks, man. Right, so he said the stranger that was within thee is going to get above thee very high, and you're going to come down very low. Because guess what? This was once your land, natives, right, you Hispanics, man. This was your land, man. But guess who came in and took your stuff, man? Your so-called enemy, man. They came and took your stuff. And they made you low in your own land, man. Right? And you're persecuting your own land. Read that. It's the book of Lamentations, chapter 5, and verse 7. Read it out. Verse 1, and it reads, Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Uh -huh. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. What the Lord say? Our, our inheritance, inheritance is turned to strangers. to strangers. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, man. Everything that you had on this land was yours at one point, man. But guess what? Under your foolishness, under your uh, idolatry, your lack of understanding of who you are and who God you serve and the sins that you commit, guess what? Your inheritance is now turned to strangers, man. Right? Your land is now inhabited with these dusty, wicked, nasty, lack of melanin having rats running around here, running over you. Read. Our houses to aliens. Our houses to aliens. But guess what? They, the Hispanics, they call you aliens, right? They call you illegal aliens, but what the Lord called them people that took your land. Our houses to aliens. They are the aliens, man. 
They are the true aliens, man. These damn Edomites, they came to white men. They are the true aliens, man. Right? But they call you illegal aliens when you try to cross over and come back into your homeland, man. Right? When you try to take back what's rightfully yours, they put up a fence, man, and block you out, man. And they set up wicked ass decrees to keep you out, man. Right? We, we are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are widows. Hey, and that's what you are. You're orphans out here, man. Most of y'all grew up in fatherless homes, man. Right? Your mothers, hey, their husbands are dead or locked up, man. Right? Or sent off to war somewhere to fight for these damn devils, man, and never to return, man. Right? Read on. Our mothers are widows. Like, are as widows. We have drunk in our water for money. We have drunk in our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. So now when your water flew freely through the creeks, in the brooks, in the oceans, in the rivers, in the ponds, guess what? You gotta pay for water, man. And if you don't pay that taxes, guess what? Your water get cut off, man. Hey, man. Now, if you go outside and collect rainwater, guess what? You get fined or you going to jail, right? That's what happens, man. Your water is what? Our, our water. It's like we have drunk in our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Your wood, when your trees grew abundantly, man, this place was a beautiful, lush wilderness. Now it's a concrete jungle, man. It's cut down. Your enemies, hey, they came in, took your home, and they leveled it, and they built up their homes, man. Like the rock places of Petra, man. Like the, the cave beasts that they truly are, man. That's why they sit above on high grounds, man, and look down on you like you an ant, man. Right? And they take your wood, and they put it into their stores, and they sell it to you, man. And they tax you on it, man. Read. Our necks are under persecution. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and have no rest. Hey, and check this out, man. You labor and you have no rest. Your necks are under persecution. You have to get up and clock in a job that, guess what? You making pennies on a dollar. And you got to answer to an old, decrepit-ass, nasty-ass white man to tell you what to do. And you 6'5", 300 pounds, standing over the top of your people, man, right? Telling you what to do, man. But guess what? You got to bow down and listen to them people, man, right? But guess what? The Lord said this is not your rest. Give me Hebrews 13 and 14, man. This is not your rest, man. There's also comfort in the scriptures, man, right? Read that. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 14. It reads, let us, let us go therefore unto him without the camp, bearing his reproach. For here we have no continuing city. For here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. For right here is not a continuing city for you, man. Right here is not your place for rest. This is not your home, you black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, but you have a city to come, man. The holy city of Zion, the city of God. And it's for you, man, right? Listen to this. Give me second Ezra chapter 8 and verse 52, man, right? I want y'all to hear something real quick. You a king on this earth, man. Y'all princesses on this earth. Y'all God chose the people. Don't let nobody ever tell you nothing different, man. Listen to this. Read it. This is the book of second Ezra chapter 8 verse 52. For unto you is paradise open. What the Lord say? For unto you is paradise open. The tree of life is planted. The time to come is prepared. Plenteousness is made ready. A city is built, and a city is built, and rest is allowed. Now, when you get to go back into your rest, into the holy city of Zion, when that man they call Jesus Christ, his real name is Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, man. Hey, look, not this white boy, but the black Messiah. He coming back for his people, and he gonna crack that sky and take you home, man, and put you back in the kingdom, man, where you gonna reign on the earth, and they gonna be subject unto you, man. I'm gonna show you a glimpse of the kingdom, man. Give me Isaiah chapter 14, verse one. I'm gonna show you what the kingdom gonna look like real quick, man. Check this out, man. Read that. This is Isaiah chapter 14 and verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. The Lord is gonna have mercy on you, right? Read. And will yet choose Israel. Choose, choose Israel. Israel. And set them in their own land. We going back home soon. Read. And the strangers. And the home. And the strangers. And the home. And, and the strangers. Read. Shall be joined with them. And they coming with us. But how they coming with us? And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They going to say, take us with you. Right? Take us with you. Because we heard that your God is coming. Read. And the people shall take them. We shall what? Shall and take them. And do what? And bring them to their place. Uh -huh. And the house of Israel shall possess them, shall possess them in the land of the Lord, 
for service, for service and handmade. Because when we service and handmade to these people, we and they shall take them captives. What we going to do? And they shall take them captives. Whose captives they were. And what we going to do? And they shall rule over their oppressors. One day, if you stay faithful to the commandments of the Most High God, if you do what he say, if you fear the Most High God that's in heaven, you one day are going to serve over your, uh, rule over your oppressors, man. Right? If you truly believe that, man. You're going to rule over your oppressors in that day, man. Right? We got to keep the law, statutes, commandments of the Most High God, man. Right, so I'm gonna ask y'all a question real quick. Y'all y'all would be so called black people, right? Right? So y'all know in the Bible, God never called anybody black. Right. Nobody black. You say African American. Nobody called African American. He called you the children of Israel, man. Right. His chosen people. Right. I'm gonna show you what he thinks about you. Give me Deuteronomy 76, man. Uh, right? Read that. Mr. Uh, Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7. And verse 6, for thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God have chosen thee, have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So the Lord got a special people on the earth. Now guess what? You go into the church and they tell you, God loves everybody. Everybody's equal. But guess what? The Lord didn't say that. Read. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people. Above all people. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We above everybody that's on this earth. Because what people on this earth can do what the black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child can do? What what inventions have they done? Right? Oh, you look on the basketball court. Who outshining everybody? On the football field, man. In music. Anything we put our hands to, man, we turn that thing out. Because we got the flavor. And the Lord said you above everybody on this earth, man. You got to believe that, man. Don't listen to your oppressor telling you that you equal. That we all bleed red. That we all the same. That we all humans. It's a lie. The Lord didn't say that, man. He said, who are you going to believe, man? Or are you going to believe the most High God, man? The Lord ain't changed nowhere, man. He told you that you special, man. Hey, and he giving you the kingdom, man. You got preach up. All right, yo. Hey, so read this, read this. It's the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7, and verse 14. And it reads, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, shall humble themselves. So right now, the Lord said, my people that are called by my name, if they humble themselves, man, read, shall humble themselves. And pray and seek my faith. And do what? And seek my faith. And turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin. So the Lord said, if you humble yourself, man, and seek his faith, then you will hear from the Most High God. But brother, how do you seek the Lord, man? How do you find him? Do you know? You know how to find the Lord? Talk to you, brother. You know how to seek the Lord? How you seek him, King? Huh? I get on my face every day and talk to him. By prayer? Guess what? This is another way you seek the Lord. Read that. This is Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. And read. The Lord says, seek out of the book of the Lord and read. And what is he telling you in the book of the Lord, man? He's telling you to come back to my laws, to repent and come back to my statutes, to repent and come back to my commandments, man. Hey, and come back to me like a man. Hey, before the Lord, and come back and I will heal your land, man. You know what it means to be a man? Give me 1 Kings chapter 2 and verse 2, right? I'm going to show you how to be a man in the sight of the Lord, man. Right? Read that. 1 Kings 2 and 2. This is with the 1 Kings chapter 2 and verse 2. Bring it out. And it reads. It said, I go the way of all the earth. So this is King David. He's talking to King Solomon. Right? Right. Be thou strong, therefore, uh -huh. and show thyself a man. Do what? And show, show thyself, thyself a man. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. To walk in his ways. Right. To keep his statutes. Right. And his commandments. Uh -huh. And his judgments. Right. And his testimonies. As it is written in the law of Moses. Right. That thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. So if you want to prosper, black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child, you got to keep the charge of the Most High God, which is his commandments, man, his laws, and his statutes in this day, man. Right. Right? You, If you want to prosper, you have to keep the commandments of the Most High God, right. man. It's as simple as that, man. You got a place that is that set for you, man. It's your rest, man. The Lord loves you. He said, look, he's laying up a place for you. Give me Matthew um, 6 and verse um, 
Oh, uh, 19, right? Matthew 6 and 19, man. Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon earth, where bot and rust will corrupt. And where thieves break through and steal. Right, so right now you shouldn't be worried about getting to the bag. You shouldn't be worried about having a good time and going through folly right now. The Lord said, don't lay up your treasures on earth where moth and hey, everything goes to corrupt. And a thief can come and take all your spoils. Right, read. Do not break, but lay up yourself treasures in heaven. Do what? But lay up yourself treasures in heaven. You're supposed to be laying up for yourself treasures in heaven, man. And how do you do that? By doing the works of the Lord, man. Right? You got to do the works of the Lord, man. You got to have faith, what? Coupled with works, man. Because your faith without works is what? It's dead. Being alone, man. Read. But lay up yourself treasures in heaven, where neither mock nor rust corrupt. It's like it. Neither where mock nor rust do corrupt. And where these do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Right, so if your treasure is to and fro and out the earth, if your mind is running talking about these uh, so-called playoffs, man, and who's drafted in the WNBA, or who's winning the Western Federation, man, or who's the next music or the next beef, and what Kendrick Lamar is going to respond to Drake about, man. Hey, man, your thoughts are not with the Lord, man. Guess what, man? The Lord ain't dealing with you, man. He said, if you dealing with this world, it's not of the Father, man. Right? It's not of the Father, man. Right, what I got you hold? Right, read that. Check this out. This is Wicked Jeremiah, chapter 29 and verse 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say of Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. The Lord said, look, you don't know the thoughts that I have towards you, man. His thoughts of you is peace and an expected end. The Lord has peaceful thoughts for his people. He said, if you would just return to me, right? If you would just return to me, you will hear from heaven. I'm going to reach out and grab a hold of you and take you back home, man, right? The gospel is here, man. Give me that Isaiah 61. I'm gonna show you what the gospel is, right? Read that. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 10. For yet a little while. And the wicked shall not be. And the wicked shall not be. The Lord said, for just a little while, that wicked is going to be here on the earth. You're going to have to go through these things. You're going to have to struggle. You're going to have to suffer. But only for a little while, and it's going to be erased. Read. Yet, it's like, yea, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be. And these wicked devils that walk around and persecute you, that hate you, that got their knee on your neck, man, guess what? In a little while, they're not going to be anymore. You're going to look to and fro, and you're not going to find them anymore because they're going to be erased and deleted, man, in a time. And this is the gospel. This is the true gospel of God, man, that he's breaking to his people. Listen to this, sister. Listen to this, brother. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 61. On the top, the spirit of Yahweh power is upon me because Yahweh hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. In these last days, the Most High God has sent out his men to bind up the brokenhearted. Who's the brokenhearted? Those that are in the ghetto, those that are in the slum, those that are locked up, those that are discriminated against, those that are saying hands up, don't shoot. Those are the brokenhearted. Read. It says to proclaim liberty uh -huh. to the captive. Guess what? Your liberty is coming, Black and Spain, the Native American man. He's preparing liberty for the captives, man. Read. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Right. To proclaim the acceptable year of Yahweh right. and the day of vengeance of our God. Yeah, and the day of vengeance of our God. Guess what? Your God is coming to play vengeance upon the people that oppress you, man. Right? But you're only going to receive that vengeance, man, right. if you do what he's saying, man. Right. Return to the Lord. Read. Right. To comfort all that mourn. Uh -huh. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. Uh -huh. To give unto them beauty for ashes. Right. The oil of joy for mourning. Right. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Right. That they might be called trees of righteousness. Right. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. Hey, hey, guess what? Salvation is only coming from those of the line and lineage out of Zion, man. The Hebrew Israelites, the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. Salvation is coming for you if you want it, man. Give it Joshua 24 and 15, man. Read that. This is the 
is the book of Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And then, knowing the tongue, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. But now it is high time to awake out of sleep. So you black Hispanic and Native Americans, the Lord said it's high time for you to get up off your dusty behind, man, and get out of that grave and awake out of sleep, man, read. For now, it's our salvation nearer than when we believe. Because your salvation is almost here. Time is up. That dust is falling out of that dial, man. And when that last speck of dust drops, it's over. It's too late. So you got a chance. Repent right now while you got a chance, man. Read. This is the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve your house, if it seem evil unto you to serve your house. So if it seem evil to you, back as brother Native American, to serve the Most High God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, choose you this day. Whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, as for me and my house, we will serve your house. So as for the commandment keeping, faith having Israelites, we gonna serve your house by sending our son. But with that, go me a son. Go me a son. Go me a son. Son of one, don't go nowhere. Kingdom coming in a day, living water, that's the way. Yeah. Treasure storing up the pay, uh -huh. wisdom sharpening in our ways. Raise it, raise it, watch it blaze. Now we roll, that's the lane. Put this truth in their face while I'm staying out the way. Was a rat in a race, now I do it for his name. Yeah, how will we we'll let it rain? Comp it up for the pain, know the truth never change. I'm just praying for his grace, cause we coming in a day. Never knew how it came. You can go against the grain, we gon' do what it's safe. On the late, no delay. Got commands, no debate. Live my brothers like a crane. Cause I just wanna see you up and never ever flop again. I want the land and the lake, but rather see my people safe. I got used to the rain. Yeah, I was shot for the faith. All this faith in my veins. I can do anything. Never tell you that you can't. A man is what he thinks. Precision vision with the aim. Prophecy dropping, it can't stop. Yeah, you can watch, but you can't fly. I'm in the night like a great box. Double cup up, he they can't cop. Brother, I love you, you're not my eye. Sister, I love you, you got my heart. You know the light goes about the dark. And you know a blaze start from a spark. Ay, Saint Lee, ain't for the weak with the fleet. Came for the kingdom, Prince of Peace. Pray that I meet you, mention me. Know that I need you. Yeah, how will he tower the eagle? On top of they tower is feeble. We push repentance to the people. These bones, they dry like the sea. From Saint Lee, and it ain't for the weak with the fleet. And we came for the kingdom, Prince of Peace. Pray that I meet you, mention me. Know that I need you. Yeah, how will he tower the eagle? On top of they tower is feeble. We push repentance to the people. These bones, they dry like the seagulls.